my experience of temporary accommodation was awful. Um, I was put into what they called at the time a and b with my three kids and it was just a room on the top floor. The windows had bars, the beds were filthy, the bath was filthy. There was just dirt all over the floor. There was mouse traps and we had to be moved. Um, and where we was moved to was even smaller. The room uh, next to us was smaller. We all shared one bed, so it was me and three children in one bed. Um, we had no means of like being able to eat properly because the communal kitchen was filled with people that were there and they were drug users and alcoholics. Um, we, we had no access to Wi-Fi, we weren't allowed the Wi-Fi. Um, one one day the toilet broke and then we had to use the next corridor if we needed the toilet um so it was just it was it was horrible it was dreadful uh it was something that i couldn't escape from until they let me so i just i felt like a prisoner of this place um the people that were there one night two men came banging on the door trying to get in um you could smell the drugs that were being smoked you could alcoholics were stood outside when I was coming in with my children and you know they were exposed to a lot and um, it definitely wasn't a place for us to be um, and I hope another family has not had to step foot in there and um, I needed a lot of support I tried my hardest to get support but I was constantly declined because we wasn't vulnerable enough because social services were not involved with the children um, because I was in a temporary accommodation um, so they would tell me well you're going to be moved so and we don't know where you're going to be moved to so you might not be our responsibility then and the only help that I had was the school that the kids were at at the time and they would give us food left over from dinner time um, they would let the kids go on school trips you know and I didn't have to pay for it uh, I was coming from like quite far from their school so they'd let the kids go to breakfast club and after school club for free as well it's the only support that I had um, and then that had to eventually go once we moved to a different borough um, for dispersed housing uh, a message that I'd like to give to policymakers and researchers uh, is to understand a broken system, you have to listen to the broken people that have come out of it because they're the living proof that the system does not help you become strong. It, it weakened me as a mother, as an individual. Um, it made me feel worthless. It made me feel like I couldn't provide the basics for my children because the system didn't see what we needed no matter how many times I would scream for it they just didn't see that just because social services were not involved with the kids these children were still very very vulnerable and me as a single mother I was very very vulnerable um, in the place that we were put because there was no safety there and then in the outside world because I no longer knew how I could feed the kids because I'd have to pay for diesel to get them to school. Um, you know, so lots of decisions had to be changed and my whole mindset had to be changed. And this is because the system forced me to change my mindset. So I think my message is listen and then paint the picture. Don't try and paint the picture first and then not listen after. Um, I think the work from... Uh, Champions Project is amazing. I think the way that they reflect the stories is is fantastic. It's creative, it's art, it's it's real and it's raw. And I think it should continue. And you know, I think we should be gone with uh, reports and statistics. And I think we just have to open our eyes and open our ears and see what's actually happening, see what temporary accommodation means for children and mothers and see it through art because then it sticks. Um, so I definitely think the work should continue and I think there's a lot more to come from it as well and 
I hope many, many policies are changed. And I myself, I'm part of trying to change policies um, through using theatre. Um, because I think it's the policies that are the biggest boundaries, but the policies belong to the system. And the system is the biggest train wreck that is for a mother and for children.